So why do most A-B tests fail? They fail because the foundational work that needs to take place prior to the A-B testing uh, is done very quickly. We merely touch the surface and we're guilty of it as much as, uh, as much as the next firm, although that's something that we have focused on and we tried and uh, tried to solve uh, in the last three, four years. And I can tell that the results and the happiness of our clients have changed dram dramatically since we've managed to do that. Some of the biggest issues that I, I can attribute the, the, the reasons for failures of CRO firms is first, poor qualitative research. I even like to call it user research. Uh, you know, we always say we should be user centric. We use the word qualitative research, fancy name. And what we mean by it is user research. Most user research that I see is very superficial. It doesn't go into depth to uncover user motivations. Uh, and at the end, um, superficial uh, superficial research produces superficial A-B testing, produces no, no results. That's one problem. The other problem is that most companies struggle with pulling meaningful insights from the analytics solution, whether it's Google Analytics, and that's the majority of clients nowadays, they use Google Analytics, a few others, a few other solutions. The challenge with most analytics solutions is that they were designed uh, with SEO, with search engine optimization or PPC, paid uh, pay-per-click um, advertising. They were designed, those analytics solutions were designed for SEO or PPC purposes. They were not designed for conversion optimization purposes. Most analytics solutions give you a lot of data uh, describing how a single page on the website behaves. Uh, what's the bounce rate? What's the exit rate? What's the time on, on page? And these are fine, but these are two uh, rudimentary metrics to really be able to understand visitor behavior, to understand the different patterns that people or visitors take on a website. Uh, humans are very erratic. You know, we start on one page, we go to the product page, we click on the add to cart, but instead of going to the checkout, we jump to another product page, we remove an item from the cart, we go to the home page, and trying to fi figure out the data patterns for user behavior that's actually very difficult and very hard work. And the minutes we're able to figure that out will have a much more meaningful impact on the website or the campaign's conversion rate.